Hi, this is Mike. I'm reading Robert Alter's translation of Genesis. This is chapter 43. And the famine grew grave in the land. And it happened when they had eaten up the provisions they had brought from Egypt, that their father said to them, Go back, buy us some food. And Judah said to him, saying, The man firmly warned us, saying, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you are going to send our brother with us, we may go down and buy you food. But if you are not going to send him, we will not go down. For the man said to us, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. And Israel said, Why have you done me this harm to tell the man you had another brother? And they said, The man firmly asked us about ourselves and our kindred, saying, Is your father still living? Do you have a brother? And we told him in response to these words, Could we know he would say, Bring down your brother? And Judah said to Israel his father, Send the lad with me, and let us rise and go, that we may live and not die, neither we, nor you, nor our little, little ones. I will be his pledge, from my hand you may seek him. If I do not bring him to you and set him before you, I will bear the blame to you for all time. For had we not tarried, by now we could have come back twice. And Israel their father said to them, if it must be so, do this. Take the best yield of the land in your baggage and bring down to the man as tribute some balm and some honey, gum and ladanum, pistachio nuts and almonds, and double the silver take in your hand, and the silver that was put back in the mouths of your bags bring back in your hand. Perhaps it was a mistake. And your brother take and rise and go back to the man. And may El Shaddai grant you mercy before the man that he discharge to you your other brother and Benjamin. As for me, if I must be bereaved, I will be bereaved. And the men took this tribute and doubled the silver they took in their hand and Benjamin. And they rose and went down to Egypt and stood in Joseph's presence. And Joseph saw Benjamin with them and he said to the one who was over his house, Bring the men into the house, and slaughter an animal, and prepare it, for with me the men shall eat at noon. And the man did as Joseph had said, and the man brought the men to Joseph's house. And the men were afraid at being brought to Joseph's house, and they said, Because of the silver put back in our bags the first time we've been brought, in order to fall upon us, to attack us, and to take us as slaves and our donkeys. And they approached the man who was over Joseph's house, and they spoke to him by the entrance of the house, and they said, Please, my lord, we indeed came down the first time to buy food, and it happened when we came to the encampment that we opened our bags, and look, each man's silver was in the mouth of his bag, our silver in full weight, and we have brought it back in our hand, and we have brought down more silver to buy food. We do not know who put our silver in our bags. And he said, All is well with you, do not fear. Your God and the God of your father has placed treasure for you in your bags. Your silver has come to me. And he brought Simeon out to them. And the man brought the men into Joseph's house, and he gave them water, and they bathed to their feet, and he gave provender to their donkeys. And they prepared the tribute against Joseph's arrival at noon, for they had heard that there they would eat bread. And Joseph came into the house. And they brought him the tribute that was in their hand into the house, they, and they bowed down to him to the ground. And he asked how they were, and he said, Is all well with your aged father of whom you spoke? Is he still alive? And they said, All is well with your servant, our father. He is still alive. And they did obeisance and bowed down. And he raised his eyes and saw Benjamin, his brother, his mother's son, and he said, Is this your youngest brother of whom you spoke to me? And he said, God be gracious to you, my son. And Joseph hurried out, for his feelings for his brother overwhelmed him, and he wanted to weep. And he went into the chamber and wept there. 
And he bathed his face and came out and held himself in check and said, Serve bread. And they served him and them separately. And the Egyptians that were eating with him separately, for the Egyptians would not eat bread with the Hebrews, as it was abhorrent to Egypt. And they were seated before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, the youngest according to his youth. And the men marveled to each other. And he had portions passed to them from before him. And Benjamin's portion was five times more than the portion of all the rest. And they drank and they got drunk with him. <laughs> 